Oxford Nanopore is developing nanopore sensing technologies for the analysis of biological molecules. In Oxford Nanopore systems, the nanopore is inserted into an electrically resistant membrane created from synthetic polymers. A potential is applied across the membrane, resulting in a current flowing only through the aperture of this nanopore. Single molecules that enter the nanopore cause characteristic disruptions in the current. By measuring that disruption, the molecule can be identified. The Minoan is a small, portable device designed to analyse single molecules such as DNA, RNA and proteins. It uses nanopores to perform these direct electronic analyses. Inside the Minoan device is a flow cell. This includes the sensor chip, which contains an array of wells, each one of which is an individually addressable electronic channel. Nanopores are built into a membrane lying across the wells, and it is here that the single molecules are analysed using nanopores. One application where Oxford Nanopore's technology is addressing traditional constraints is DNA sequencing. For example, the MinIron may offer advantages in read length, runtime and analysis of native DNA. This animation shows you what will happen to your DNA library as it is introduced to the MinIron. The library is added to the port where it flows over the top of the sensor chip. This sensor chip contains thousands of wells, each of which is a single electronic channel. Over the top of these wells lies a membrane which comes pre-prepared with nanopores embedded in it. Each nanopore creates a channel in the membrane. The minion records current passing through nanopores in individual wells. Connected to the sensor chip is an application-specific integrated circuit, an ASIC. This is where the signal processing and control happens. The DNA library that has been added to the minion has been mixed with copies of a process of enzyme. As the DNA enzyme complexes approach the nanopore, the single-stranded DNA is pulled through the aperture of this nanopore. As each one passes through, it creates characteristic modulations in the current that can be used to determine the order of bases on that strand. The workflow for a minion sequencing experiment is straightforward. Firstly, the minion is connected to the laptop through the USB 3 cable. The user then launches the Mino software that will run the minion, and after performing a calibration and quality control procedure, the minion is ready for the sequencing library. The library is added to a port in the minion, and the fluid flows across the surface of the sensor chip. After selecting the run protocol and starting the experiment, you can now start to see the raw data produced by the nanopore sequencing the DNA. The DNA to be sequenced by the minion has gone through a simple library preparation procedure. Read lengths can be determined by the person doing the experiment, as the minion will sequence the length of reads that are presented to it, and when a nanopore has processed a complete read, it will then start a new read. Nanopores can process read lengths of hundreds of kilobases. The nanopore signal is measured by an ASIC in the flow cell and processed by the Minnow software. Minnow controls the minion. It carries out several core data tasks and can be used to change experimental workflows or parameters. It provides the user with real-time feedback of key sequencing metrics, such as read lengths and number of events, allowing the user to decide how long to run an experiment. The software runs on a host computer with Minnow data files being uploaded to Metricore, an on-demand, cloud-based data analysis and bioinformatics platform. Results of these analyses are then provided back to the user as the experiment progresses. This exchange of data allows real-time sequencing analysis to take place, meaning that experiments can be run to generate the right amount of data to answer the user's question, rather than being controlled by an arbitrary runtime. On the bioinformatics side, the systems produce full-length, full-read data, whether it's DNA, RNA or protein, in real time. And that means you can treat those data bioinformatically in real time as the machine runs. Now, running bioinformatics in real time has a number of advantages. The obvious one is it reduces the compute cost and the management overhead. But it also means you can look for things in real time. And that means if you have an experiment that's looking for a particular thing, whether it's a significant uh, mutation or the existence of a particular strain in a laboratory swab, you can detect and see that with a required level of confidence in real time. If you can see things in real time, you can then feed that back to the system and you can move the whole system or part of it 
on to another sample or another experiment. Oxford Nanopore's DNA strand sequencing technology produces full-length DNA reads for analysis in real time. Multiple nanopores operate independently across many microwells on the arrayed sensor chip, generating many reads at the same time. Combining this with a continuous exchange of data with a cloud-based analysis system, results can be seen in real time, allowing users to decide when they have enough data to answer their questions.